10 tonight spring has officially begun and with the majority of snow melting across NEPA, some drivers are noticing large amounts of trash along the sides of roadways, which some call an eyesore. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules spoke with an organization dedicated to keeping Pennsylvania litter free and is live with more Alicia. And as you can see here, there's still plenty of litter along this roadway. However, it may seem like this trash just came out of nowhere, but it's usually always been here. But with the snow melting, it makes it a lot more obvious. Across NEPA and the entire state, motorists can see litter covering the roadways. Things like plastic bottles, cardboard boxes, and even clothing items like boots can be seen along multiple roads. According to Pickup PA, the organization has disposed of over 2 million pounds of trash across the state in just 2023 alone. Keep Pennsylvania Beautiful does run multiple litter pickup events. However, Shannon Ryder, the president of the organization, says that it'll take more than cleanup events to end Pennsylvania's litter problem. We need education. We need the right laws and ordinances. We need to enforce those laws and ordinances. And we also, like I said, we need to really build stewardship. So we need to create that sense of pride. In Pennsylvania, littering can result in a fine up to $300 if no damage or injury occurs. If the litter causes damage or injury to property or another vehicle, the fine can be between $300 and $1,000. Fines are also doubled in designated litter enforcement corridors. George Kupstus, a Kingston resident, says that he always sees plenty of litter along the roadways and finds it disappointing to see. It, it, it bothers me to think that people are that lazy that they cannot find a place to dispose of their litter properly. Um, I just think it's a bad habit and people need to be more conscious and, be, and keep their roadways and, and woods beautiful like they're supposed to be. Keeping Pennsylvania clean can be as simple as picking up trash by your own backyard or in surrounding areas. Reporting live from Wilkesbury, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first to 10. Two Somerset County parents say they were surprised